Hello people, my name is Prakash Madhani. So uh, this is the new section of our previous video. So we ha where we have left that, uh, we have just, uh, you know, quick added our videos uh, in document library section here. And uh, once the changes are done, we are just click on done. And this is your document library look alike. You can just change your document property from here and you can add a document, add a column from directly here. When you go to a, a quick edit section, you can add add a column from here also so if i just want to uh, you know add a column name i just can add it from here also okay so just click on done you are done with that and there is a <coughs> uh, more feature in this document library also there is when you click on the select a particular document so there is an option to open it open it in word online or open it in word so word online means your document uh, file will be you know open in sharepoint online or a word online and open in word means it will open in your offline word and you can just save that and the changes will be reflected here and the second option is share you can share your document library with uh, within your organization the people who you want to you know able to view this document library and to whom you want to just share so just type the name of people to whom you want to share so it's Prakash Madhani and just give them permission either they can view it or either they can add it and you can give them permission also okay and there is a get a link option if you want to just get the link for this particular document library you can get the link for this particular document library or you can I'm going to share the link directly with the people okay so this is the get link option and there is a shared with option so there is a shared with option means that if you want to share it with a particular group or or your SharePoint group that you have created just you can go there in advanced section and after that there will be a people coming up and you can just share with them also okay so this is for your sharing purpose the people who you who can view your file or who cannot view your file you can just put the restriction for your site so right now it is only shared with you nobody else can see this and if you want to share with the peoples they will be able to see it okay so this is the security of your SharePoint document library how you can share and this is the get link I have already told you download you just can click on this section your file will be downloaded here right and but delete if you have want to delete it you just click on you'll be able to delete the file okay and <coughs> there is the option to move it to a different document library or to a root level or to a new level and copy you can also create a copy of this file and then save it rename for renaming the purpose version history to create a version history alert me if you want to put the alert for this document if someone changed the document library content or name or those things the alert will be shown to you and this is how and check out check out basically is uh, when you make it check out nobody else can make changes to this particular document library or will able to change this okay so check out means it is check out to you you are only able to edit this particular file okay right so once you check in this file you will be able other people will be able to you know make the edit for this particular document library so this is how it's work and <coughs> there is one more feature of this document library is this i option if you are able to see you select any document just click on this i you'll be able to see this information section here so i means information about this file structure okay and you can just change the column value directly from here also so text mean test and it will be saved here right customer name you can change here to me just click on now it's saved and once you come back you can see that this is the property have been changed so, so you don't need to go separately in other sections to make it change or do anything you can just directly change it from here and if you want to make edit all you can just click on this and all the property will come up here once it is changed click on save all these files are saved so this is for what our document library is all about how you can add things how you can delete things how how you can share the things how you can quick edit things in a sh SharePoint document library all things are covered up in this tutorial so if you haven't seen the previous one you can see the previous one and after that you can see this one both the 
videos are synced and you can actually learn how to you know play with your document library so in the next video i will just talk about what are the difference between the classic view of our sharepoint document library and the default view that is uh, this default view so we'll talk about how and what is the difference between both these views and uh, how we can change the views of our document library so we'll talk about it in the next video for this video <coughs> thanks all thank you so much